All right, so after a whole bunch of trial and errors and trying to make um, this thing work the way I believe it should or more efficiently, I've come to the realization that um, maybe, well, technically I wasn't doing anything wrong, but I realized that something just needed to be added. And we're basically looking at this Nox.UI, um, this Nox UI kit um, template that we've created um, in some past tutorials. So this is basically what we're trying to accomplish is making, um, getting, configuring Nox.js for better UI kit support. And um, after looking at what we have, or looking at the example, the, the most recent, some updates for Nox.js um, actually solve the issue but they haven't really updated um this example as yet so i may end up pulling um uh, pulling this actually and open a pull request for it uh, fixing it and actually opening a pull request for it for them to actually change it for it to work better now the thing is that the ui kit as i was mentioning before in the previous tutorials i'll probably leave a card or something for you guys to watch if you haven't the the thing is that the javascript as far as i know and the icons really load on the client and not on the server so it doesn't really work on the server as far yeah, as far as i know um, it doesn't work on the server and if we have it set to by default nox is a server-side rendered application so if we have it by default as a server-side rendered application then it won't, the icons won't load on the server and that is why it takes a minute for it to show up. And at this point, they haven't really changed it or show it in here. So basically what we, all we need to do is just to configure it to say that we are working on client side only. However, if we want to have a server side application that is using UIKit, then that's going to be a problem with the icons. And this is where we're actually here um trying to create a plugin or well actually a module that will help with that so we have this module for ui um nox.js which is nox2 and we also have this one for nox which would be nox3 basically but these are still in development and they're not fully production ready as yet and uh, we're working on that so we'll have that up as soon as possible but for this one, what I'm going to do is basically just show you how we can simply fix the issue that we're having here as it relates to that. And then afterwards, we'll probably I'll create a new tutorial that will look at how we can configure it for better support with um, server-side rendering because uh, I think that's an important part as Nox is ad, um, advertised basically as a server-side um, rendered application. As if not, why don't we just use the, the vanilla view itself? Let's go ahead now and just clone this repository because I actually deleted the other one. I'm gonna open uh, my terminal. Uh, and it's not opening. Why is that? Let's try that again. Open another window. So let's go ahead and cd into here. And what I'm gonna do is just clone the repository and cd into it. So this is the repository that we're on here, as you can see. Same repository, and I'm just gonna cd into it. And then we can do a git clone of, well, what am I doing? I scroll wrong. We can go ahead now and just open this in code so that it'll be easier for you guys to see. And what I will do for now is to actually create a separate branch so I am going to create a branch called client and this is basically for client side um, just for how it will work on the client and then afterwards I'll afterwards I'll probably create one for server and then I'll probably ship up which one should be the main um, in the repository. Let's go ahead and create a branch and I'm actually going to call it um, client. Uh, now we can pretty much just go ahead and start to do whatever we need to do and i'm actually first just going to delete the these that are not needed this is the same javascript i would have copied with the command so these would not be needed as well and well i should delete the entire thing these are 
Pavel Khan for Knox and for for um, Fedori as well. So that's it. That's cleaned up inside of the package that Jason will want to also remove these because we won't be using these scripts anymore. So let's leave all of that. The next thing that I want to do here is to basically um, I think I should update these to the latest um, versions. I may need to do a yarn install first to get the node modules folder and uh, and then we can update them to the latest. I think Nox is already at the latest so I think UI kit needs to be updated. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I want to do here is to do nothing else because I think that is pretty much it. This is the Nox logo which we're not using, at least not for now. And everything else is as it should be. It's fine. Now let's go ahead and configure our um, Nox.config file. So this was what we're doing basically importing the script so that it loads from the top basically. Because uh, you know how job or HTML is, it will load from the top going down. So we just load, import the, the JavaScript and the icons that it loads on the server. But for the client, all we need to do, we can delete that. We are still going to be needing the CSS. We're going to be importing the plugin because that, that's what we're going to be using. In the later tutorials, I may look at how we can uh, do the, the client side aspect well, the server side, as I mentioned, with modules. The thing, the problem is, is that it does not seem like the it is this is being respected, and that is the problem that we're having. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, or cut it from there, and then we're pretty much going to put it here at the top, and set server side default by default. So everything is set to false. We could also also all as well put target and set this to static but what I've noticed is that this does not really matter it won't really make a difference if we have static or not uh, but for this instance I'm actually going to leave it with static but the most important thing that we need here is this SSR false and and that's about it so now this should work as it should but only on the client so let's go ahead and save this and we need to go ahead now and do a yarn. As I had mentioned, I'm gonna do a yarn and I'm also going to reinstall the packages. Um, well, update the packages to the latest versions as well. All right, so now that that's done, let me go ahead now and I want to just do a yarn add and we want to do UI kit and also we want to add um, Nox as well, so let's do a yarn add Nox, and I want to believe that that should give us Nox 2 latest version and not Nox 3. But let's see what will happen. So it seems like Nox was already at the latest version, but Nox 3 updated. Well, UI kit updated, I should say. So that's perfect. I may end up changing changing all of these to um I may end up changing all of these to latest, but for now I'm gonna leave it as is. So that's that. So now if we go ahead now and do a yarn dev, we will see the difference. First of all, you can see that. This is say client side and the target is static. If we remove the thing, it may say server or client. I don't remember exactly, we can always test that out. Uh, but it should be loaded now. So let me go ahead and uh, open a new browser tab here. And you can see that it is working as, first of all, you can look at that. Wow, that's amazing. We can see that it's on the client and not the server. That is pretty much it as it relates to fixing this for the client side. Again, I'm going to look at a different tutorial that will look at how we can uh, get better support for SSR. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.